Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan Fenter. I'm going to be transplanting some of these butternut squash seedlings along with some watermelon seedlings. And what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to plant them all along this edge over here. So I need to trim this, trim those pink flowers there, and then we can transplant some of these seedlings and have this whole strip over here. I might need to trim something of the trees, I'm not sure. But I want to have this strip over here with a few of the seedlings in. Right, now it's time to get some plants. Let's see. Here I have some watermelon. These are looking really, really delicious. So I'll take those ones. And then I'll take one squash. I think I'm going to take these butternut squash over here. Okay, so that's the selection for today. Very cool. Yeah, and I just thought about it now as well. This is also a watermelon. It's been in the spot for a while now. So I'm thinking I will transplant this one out as well and i know that these plants can get really really big so i'm going to space them out pretty decently maybe these two trays will do this entire row i'll see but the thing that i want to try and keep in like keep in mind is where i plant what and i'm thinking of doing half watermelon half butternut just that I know for the beginning because they do look pretty similar. So I'm going to put half on one side, half on the other side, and I'll see how spacing goes while I'm transplanting. So I'm going to quickly show you these organic grow roots. I do have an affiliate link in the description if you'd like to check them out. Beautiful, beautiful. I used the Hydrofras and the Powerfras with these seedlings. Beautiful. Ah, they should have enough sun. They really should have. I'm not going to plant too many like directly under this tree or close to under the tree. I want to try and keep them as open as possible. I think I might even just do this one patch watermelon and then I'll do squash up there because this actually looks, the spacing looks beautiful and I don't want to put too much because then the spacing is going to start getting a little bit too tight. Especially for these things that grow like crazy. I don't know if you can see those butternut down at the bottom there. Absolutely crazy. So I think I'll probably do this. I'll space them around like that. Yeah, so there's the butternut. You can see them over there. That's probably only maybe eight plants. Maybe eight or ten plants. Crazy stuff. So they get really, really big. So everything is transplanted in now and over here I have a Hospunio compost and organic grow fertilizer mix and I'm going to be using this just to sprinkle a little bit around almost like a mulch and a fertilizer at the same time. There we go, quick and easy transplanted a few butternut and some watermelon. I'm really hoping that this little 
section is going to look a lot better with these plants in here because almost every week we have to come and weed the entire place. For some reason the weeds are just incredibly insane here, especially in this patch. So I'm hoping that with all of the shade cover that these plants are going to provide, we shouldn't have as many weeds and then we should have some healthy butternut and some watermelon. And I'm not going to give these plants any water right now because as you can see it's very overcast and there's a, I think there's like 70% chance of rain from this afternoon right through to I think 1, 2 o'clock tomorrow morning. So there's some proper rain coming so I'm not going to water anything now. They do have enough water with them from the seedling trays so they should be fine. If nothing happens I will come and give them some water. All right, and that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed chilling with me today, transplanting some butternut and some watermelon. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Have a wonderful day, stay active in the garden, and I'll see you guys in the next video.